Jordan Allett just returned from the conference. He's a senior advisor to In Defense of Christians and founder of In Altum Productions. How was your petition received at the UN, Jordan? Well, I think it was received very well. It was really awe-inspiring to be there when this uh, petition was delivered, especially coming on the cusp of the U.S. government and the European Parliament declaring what is happening to Christians and other minorities in Iraq and Syria as genocide. You showed your documentary, Our Last Stand, at this conference. Just give us a snapshot of what this is about. Sure. We had the opportunity to show segments of, of this new documentary, which we're just f finishing up, and we've been able to show it as well at the European Parliament and other places. The documentary follows an Assyrian-American woman named Helma uh, as she journeys back to her ancestral homeland in Iraq and Syria, actually where her parents are from, to help reveal to the world what is happening to Christians and others currently. Um, there are a number of things that, about this production that I think is, are, are a little bit unique, and one of them is trying to personalize what is happening through Helma, somebody who's very American but also very connected with her roots, and a lot of the people that we, we meet with also are very relatable, very likable, very inspiring, because oftentimes being halfway across the world, it can be difficult to relate to a very distant foreign problem like that. We really need that personal connection. So you obviously spent time in Syria and Iraq. What did you witness personally? Well, and, and that was another th thing we wanted to do is go beyond the refugee camps. We spent a lot of time at those camps to talk to those who are suffering, those who are trying to help them. But we wanted to meet with also sort of everyday uh, Iraqis and Christians, uh, Assyrian, Chaldean, Syriac Christians um, in, in both countries. And we actually even met with uh, Helma's uh, family members who hasn't, she hasn't seen in, in, in a long time, many years, to talk to them about uh, their situation, their fears, their goals. I mean, every day they have to make the decision. Is this another day we're going to stay where our family has lived for thousands of years, or are, are we going to leave? You also met with a priest in Iraq. Tell us about that meeting. Father Douglas Bazi, who a lot of people are starting to hear about. He has, uh, you know, an unbelievable story about his own persecution and abduction by extremists when he was um, in another part of Iraq in, near Baghdad. Now he's up in Erbil, and I told him, because he was at our conference this past week, I said, you often don't talk about the leadership that he has shown in taking in so many refugees to his parish priest, parish uh, church in Erbil. It's, it's a story that needs to be told because he's focusing on educating the young people. And as he says, Iraq has a lot of bosses, but not many leaders. So he's a leader and he's creating more leaders. And I think there's some hope and some optimism that better days are ahead for, for Iraqis and for Syrians. We were blessed to have Father Bassi on uh, EWTN News Nightly. Blessed to have you too, Jordan Allett with In Defense of Christians and In Altum Productions. Thank you. Thank you.